the, when the Lord comes, it is just like the sun appears and sun disappears. Uh, it does not mean because we do not see Krishna just now in our presence. Of course, in transcendental sense, when we acquire that transcendental sense, we see Krishna through this Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita is Krishna. It's not Bhagavad Gita is not different from Krishna. That is the uh, I mean the sense of absolute knowledge. In the absolute world, there is no difference between the person and the words. Oh. Just like uh, this uh, tape recorder, it is being recorded. My words or my songs are being recorded. But they are different. Uh, they are they, from me. This is dual, the world of duality. But as the absolute world, there is no such difference. Just like you are chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. This name Krishna and the personality Krishna is the same. It's the same. Hare Krishna means when I hear the sound, the transcendental sound, vibration, Krishna, that means Krishna is on my tongue, on my ear. Therefore, if we chant this vibration of transcendental sound with devotion and with attention, that is the highest type of meditation and yoga. And very easy. The process is that you chant Hare Krishna and exactly the same sound you hear. So your mind is concentrated on this Krishna, and Krishna is not different. This sound Krishna is not different from person Krishna. Therefore, when we chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare, it is as good as Krishna. Uh, 